Lord, when I die, I want to live on the outskirts of heaven. Where there's dirt roads for miles And hay in the fields And fish in the river What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be riding Iron Man. This is video number two. And, uh, we're, actually we're not going to be riding Iron Man. We're going to be riding Champ today. We figured that he's healed up. And he's ready to ride. So I think we're gonna ride. I think we're gonna ride champ today. So let's grab our bridle. Let's throw it over him. Let's go catch him real fast. I'll see you guys in a second when I'm over to champ. Well, the camera messed up while I was putting the bridle on him, but we have got champ's bridle on. And we're fixing to walk him back. This tripod is supposed to auto balance and stuff, and it's messing up. So, we're gonna walk him back. Then I get my saddle out of the barn. Alright, let me see if I can get you guys up there. Can y'all see that better? I can't tell if y'all see it through the side or not. You get your saddle ready to be throw up on the horse. There. You throw your saddle up. Throw all your stuff over. Make sure. And I mean, make sure that your everything's right. No leathers tucked under him. Nothing like that. Cause that can make your horse uncomfortable and get you hurt. Make sure everything's straight. Then, so this part right here, the strap. It's a cinch strap. I call it the main cinch strap. You get your cinch. This is your cinch. It goes under horse's belly. And you tighten your cinch strap. Or you tighten your cinch with a cinch strap. Uh, people do it differently. Uh, Hey, my horse is trying to hit it at. Iron Man's trying to hit the camera. Uh, people sense their uh, sense is different. Some people make a T, which is where you go back under this, come under this, and you do that. I don't do that. I've been taught to go and make the laps make laps and then pull it as high as I can. And then, and then you can get as tight as you can get it. Put it in that hole. And sometimes people do it differently. I put this back right there. So <laughs> See if I can. Oh, wrong way. All right. That's how I do my cinch. Okay. Now that we got that right, let me get you guys set up for the back. The back. Some people call it a back cinch. People. Some people call it a bucking girt. 
I've always called it a bucking goat, but I've been corrected that it's a back cinch. So, you know, we'll go with that. I have, this is called a breast collar. This keeps your saddle from sliding backwards on you. You just go through this O-ring right here. If y'all guys can see, I'm not sure if y'all can see. You go back through that O-ring and there's a little clip right here. And you get it about where you can probably put a finger in it on it right there. Then you go back through like that. This clip, uh, you guys won't be able to see it unless I, unless I show you. But this clip right here goes under there to this clip of your cinch. And it clips right there under that. So if you guys want to see all of it, if I can figure out how to turn this. <laughs> all right, there is all, that's my saddle, my pad. This is my bridle. And this is not 11 or champ. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna name him yet. Thank you guys for watching me saddle up my horse. I'll see you guys here in just a second. Me and old champ had a good ride today. Me and Champ had a good ride today. He, uh, we found out that he's healed and he's running and he's doing good. We had a good ride. Sorry I didn't film it, but you know, this is mine, his first riding for a long, in a long, in a long time. So I wanted, I wanted to ride him and focus on him and see how he's doing. He did a heck of a job. This horse wants to stay glued to me, but <laughs> he really did. He did a good job. And I'm going to attack him real quick. And I'll get back at y'all here in just a second. See you guys in a second. Well, guys, like I said, I just got done riding champ. He's doing so much better. He, he did good today. Uh, I'm proud of him. And I'm glad he's healed. I'm glad he's better. Uh, you know, I can't wait to be able to rope with him and uh, have more experiences with him and uh i'm excited for roping always been a dream it's my dream to go to even the littlest roping it's my dream and right now i'm at the point where i could probably go and do okay but you know i uh i've been practicing a lot i've roped the live steer i've uh i've roped the live steer i've roped the ground dummy a lot I broke the fence post off a horse a couple times. Uh, I'm just getting there. You know, I'm a beginner. Um, I don't get to work cattle much at all, but I'm hoping that I'll get to do that more. Uh, I know there's not much to this video, uh, but I'm just kind of doing a little vlog for now. I've got some ideas written up. Uh, I'm gonna do vlogs for now. And then, uh, you know, I'll do the video ideas next. But, you know, I got I got special plans for you guys. And uh, I'm sorry that these videos don't really have a specific theme of what I'm doing right now. But it's, I got to figure some stuff out on some video ideas. Uh, when I figure them ideas out, it's going to be, it's going to be good. You know. I don't care about the amount of followers I have, the amount of likes I have, all of that. I just enjoy making content and I enjoy it if people see this and are inspired by it or learn some stuff from it or it just kind of makes your day. Uh, but um, I'm fixing to go to my mama's, but uh, I'll cut to you guys when I'm at my mama's. See you guys in just a second. What is up guys? Uh, I'm at my malls and I've been riding the full weather for a few minutes now. It is beautiful, as you can see. It's pretty. So uh, I figured I'd get some uh, cinematic shots of the farm. Run it to the cinematics. <laughs>
six, five.